I just trying to enjoy uh, and not blow up. Although sadly, I think the damage is done. What is up guys, Andy Forrest, the runner here, and welcome to the first race vlog of 2021. Today is the day of the Shepherdine Marathon. Good morning, so we're here and we first of all, before anyone else, we bumped into Mr. Donato, Poet with Pace on YouTube and he is out here today doing the half marathon. Half marathon, yes Andy, I can't wait, number 4,000. What a number. I know, I've got the absolute magic number because life begins at 40, doesn't it? Or 100%. is it 60? Uh, well, I'm 34, so hopefully that, no, 33, I'm doing myself a disservice, so <laughs> maybe life hasn't started for me yet, but uh, are you feeling good for today? Yeah, yeah, I mean, this is just a, a bit, this is my first race of yeah. the year. Last yeah. time I ran was December yeah. last year. And this is all part of my half Ironman training, 70.3 Ironman coming up in July. So this is the first thing just to see how the legs are doing after 13 weeks of training. And I've still got another 13 weeks to go. Incredible, God. wow, that's incredible. Well, you have a good race, mate, enjoy it. Donato's too, channel link will be in the description below. Go and check it out for his race vlog of the day. Good luck. Thank you so much, Andy. Take care, all the best. So welcome back to another video. And yes, it is the day of the Shepherdine Marathon. 19 weeks training, done and dusted. We are now sat here in the car with our number ready to get going so plan of attack just go and do a really light 10 minute jog um and and then get straight into it i'm actually shaking with nerves i'm so nervous so excited it's like the first race since shepherd Line marathon last year bar all the tts we've done so weather's beautiful sun is shining just a little bit windy today but hopefully once we get going that will just blend into the background and we can get rocking and rolling got my belt to sort out got to sort all the gels got to swap shoes so going to do a quick warm-up now and then we'll get moving Okay, warm up done. We're at the start line. Start line's there. And we're going to be going off in 10 second intervals. We have Gav, we have Lee, we have John. We're waiting to go. Corey's coming. That's who I'm running with. Wish us luck. We'll see you when we get going. Go. Next one. One at a time. And there we go. Shepherd Line Marathon 2021 underway with Corey right there. Let's go. Okay, we've just gone through four miles and we've progressed it down now. So mile five, we now dial into marathon pace. So we're gonna sit and hold here for a bit. I'm gonna put the camera away, focus, and uh, see you in a few more miles. So 
we split halfway in 121 flat and uh, sadly it's not my day I've had to drop off and I've started splitting around 6.15s um, heart rate hit 170 at mile 6 and 7 I've just had to let Corey go uh, otherwise I'm just going to blow and I'm walking the tightrope now I've dropped off and it's still 170 so I'm just trying to enjoy uh, and not blow up although sadly I think the damage is done Definitely not my day, but we will finish and we will enjoy this. Well, enjoy the strong mode. Well, what a day. 22 miles and I am absolutely toast. Um, just, just have to have a break. I'm just, this wind is a killer. So I just passed Corey. Uh, and now he's back, <laughs> just gone back past me. Uh, we're both both struggling to be fair, but uh, it's one of those days today. We live and learn. The heat has got me, the wind has got me. The heart rate was elevated from the start and it was never gonna end pretty. When all is said and done, it's been a learning curve, this one. The one thing I'll say is I'm so grateful I backed off when I did because otherwise I think I would have dropped by now. It's just, it's been a crippler today, absolute crippler. 9.14 at last mile. We are walking and running home, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Let's go, bro. Come on. Push, push. More, push. Let's go. Come on. Come on, there. Sprint, sprint. Woo. Oh, there he is. Hello, YouTube. Um, my heart rate. See? Like Cookie right, last seven miles. collapsed on the grass. Sorry, no, it's all right. Look, there he is. There's Phil. Hello. He finished. He sprinted past me at the end. I was absolutely toast. Corey's disappeared. I just collapsed here on the grass. Absolutely knackered. we go race done back in the car now protein shake massage gun compression compression socks on everything i can so that i can i can drive home so uh i don't really know where to start to be honest with you that really didn't go to plan um as you saw in the race and i knew it wasn't going to go to plan from mile six basically the long and sh the long story short if i just check the car temperature now it's 17 degrees um which isn't that hot but we've trained through really cold weather really cold weather and this week it's really heated up sod to law and i knew that it was i just you know it always happens around april the earlier you can race in in april the better really so it was what it was today um at mile six, oh, let me just show you this, a pottery medal. How awesome is this? Made from pottery, clay. Absolutely beautiful, unreal. And a massive shout out to Rogue Runs, a fantastically organized event, just brilliant. So massive kudos to them. We just set off and I knew at mile six, my heart rate hit 170. 
and that was a no-go. I knew that my race was over at that point. If you touch 170, I mean, my threshold is around 174. To get that close to your threshold so early in a marathon is game over. It doesn't matter who you are, your ability, it's game over straight away. You are never going to run a strong marathon. So I knew at that point it wasn't going to be my day. So I had to back off and I dropped 10 to 15 seconds a mile and still, and that was around mile eight or nine or 10, I dropped off and still my heart rate just would not budge. It did not want to move. It was just riding too high. The heat, as you can, I don't know, I've wiped most of the salt off, but I was really losing salt. Having said that, I was having my gels and drinking well. At no point on that course did I feel like I was kind of out of energy as such. It's just my body just went, nope, no more. Um, so I dropped off Corey uh, and I let him go and I ran at my pace. I started splitting 620, 630s, as you saw. Uh, got to <coughs> the end of each loop. And each, so it's five and a half miles out to a loop, a five mile loop, and then five and a half miles back, basically. And on the final mile of each loop, the wind was in our face and it was horrific. It was, I can't begin to explain how horrible it was. And by the third one, I was like 654 mile, absolute toast, got to the end and thought, okay, we're 20 and a half miles in, five and a half to go or just over. Turned on the road back and bam, headwind again. And the headwind stayed with us pretty much until mile 24, 25. It was absolutely horrific. Um, so it just wasn't to be my day. I caught Corey up around mile 21, uh, went past him. Then I had to stop and walk because my body just went, nope. He went past me. He stopped and walked. I went back past him. And it's weird because when I walked and I went again, I felt really good. I was running low seven minute mile pace and like the energy was there. Uh, it's just my body just, just kept literally getting to a point where my body just went, nope, no more. It was really bizarre. Um, and we, I just did that all the way home. Uh, and then Corey caught me back up at mile 25. Phil, who is also a Team Birdman member, caught us up. And Corey and Phil went past me and we finished as a three and I came third out of the three of us at the end in 2.55.57 unofficially. So yeah if there's anything for me to say about this is that i'm not going to be down in the dumps about it it is what it is i didn't have a good race uh i've had some great time trials i've had some great races we all are going to have bad races if you can learn any lesson from this video it's that don't stress about it don't worry about it these things happen we go again i've had 19 weeks of incredible training and that's going to set me up beautifully for the summer i now just need to go out there and get my revenge on some shorter races some 5ks and 10ks and half marathons throughout the summer and do my best to get some pb and revisit the marathon later in the year uh, when it comes around to that time. So there we go. That is a, really the race in a nutshell. There's nothing more to say other than that I need to go to McDonald's and eat all the chips. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for your support once again on this training series. It means the world to me and especially today. Um, I know there's going to be a difference of opinions on this and strategies and all that sort of thing. I started slow, I worked into it, I did everything I could to run a good race. Sadly, it just wasn't to be today. But next time, there's always next time. We'll give it another go and, uh, and I'm, I'm excited to give it another go. So there we go. That's it for today, guys. Make sure you give the video a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Until then.